Hello. All right. So today we're playing Call of the Sea, which is made by Out of the Blue Games and published by Raw Fury. Raw Fury's been making a lot of waves lately with some pretty great titles. Uh, this game is giving me major Firewatch vibes, so I'm very excited to dive in and check out the mystery that is Call of the Sea. Let's uh, check out the options here first. Subtitles on. Crosshair on. Detection. Shows icon over interactable items on approach. Sure. Alright, controls. Invert. Oh, you can change bindings? That's good. Turn down sound effects a little bit. Turn down music a little bit. Alright, let's go. Text language English subtitles on. Start new game. This game looks stunning. Out of all the footage I've seen so far, I've been very excited for this to arrive. I'm ready. No. Oh. Okay. Nora. What? What was that? What are those voices? Who's Nora? Am I Nora? Oh shit. Okay, well I immediately want to go the wrong way. We're underwater. Oh, can I not go this way? Nope. Alright. Yeah, I can't swim any faster, I don't think. Nope. Where am I? Oh. A little fish statue. Getting some uh weird shape of water vibes. It's like an old temple or something. Oh, there's a door. I know this place. I've been here before. Oh, an o'clock. It is almost six o'clock. That's weird. Oh wait, no, that's upside down. It's oh weird. It's not a real clock. Can't actually tell what time it is. Oh, there's bubbles. I've been here my entire life. What's I'm that? I'm trapped in here. A little teacup on a table. A lantern. Oh, a stairwell. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. This is like a nightmare or something. Oh. I need to get out. A little dresser. The voices are calling me. Empty picture frames. Oh, a chair. Oh, the bad guy reveal. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to. Oh, I think we're waking up. Yep. Oh, she had something on her Those hand. Horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Oh. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. A strange if disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself. Oh, that's an illness. Damn. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. 
It's got a bit of a. Uh, um. Oh damn! What's the name of that game? Oh, got some gloves here. Oh, that's why she wears gloves. I cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. What remains of Edith Finch? That's the game I'm thinking of. Let's see if the radio's working. Oh, I love this song. Turn that off before I get DMCA'd. I received a, a note here. mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Package delivered, 1934. Inglewood, October 10th, 1934. Addressed to Nora Everhart from Papati Tal City. I received a mysterious oh, package okay. at my house. I stored all its contents oh, in my locked Papati suitcase. Tahiti. I like that I can press play and it automatically replays the little narrative bit. Oh, calendar. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Nice. Oh, a little diary. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. Oh, we're an art teacher, okay. Press Y to open up journal. Curious things from my journey. Uh, okay, that's just my front door, I guess. So we have notes, which I'm assuming we'll collect throughout the game. And then we have log, which is the story so far. November 1st, 1934. I've arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be tough now. To I think I must have walked all over Papiti, Pe Papit, asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place 74 miles east of Tahiti, some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. Like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. Oh, he's the guy that just talked to us through the door. He knew some of the crew members of the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti, which is our husband's island. Or husband's expedition, we're assuming. According to Hodgson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is suspicious, superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th, 1934. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Miss Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet, tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. <coughs> oh, we've got some... Okay, let's go all the way back to the beginning, or the earliest notes, and then we'll read forward. July 6th, 1934, so... Six months before our current time. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answers to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to the delay in postal service. July 14th. Last night I had another of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before the mist-shrouded mountain. I woke up drenched in sweat. September 16th, so a couple months later. I keep waking to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry, and it's been three months already. Damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing, and I can barely walk for a couple minutes without getting exhausted. Oh, I wonder if that's going to play into the gameplay elements. It's weird that this is silent while we're looking at the journal. There's no music or anything playing. There's a page noise, but that's about it. Okay, October 10th. An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. All of these were in a package I received yesterday, postmarked Tahiti, no sender. 
Oh. Okay. Find him. 74 nautical miles east of Odahate. After leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Odahate was just an ancient name of Tahiti, the same place the package came from. What does this all mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. October 14th, so four days later. Following Harry's trial, trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison building, I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmel. Tahiti again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. October 19th, so four, five days later. First I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy or cheap either. Four days later, I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. Oh, there we go. We got an arrival stamp from Tahiti, November 1st. And then this is the stuff we just read. Cool. So we'll keep that on us and we'll take some notes and stuff. What's this guy? It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Oh. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. Walking stick? We don't need it, though. I'd always dreamed of traveling. SS Monterey. It's not the same without you, Harry. Steamship the SS Carmel. On November 1st, Madison Lines Transportation Services. All right. Can't look outside. Oh, I'm the definitely bed. going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. All right, let's go look over with the luggage. Hmm, I think I've overpacked. Do you think? Oh, what's this guy? Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Wish I could zoom in a little bit. You know, focus your vision or whatever. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? All right. So are those the... Th oh, no. Oh, my. I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things... Uh... Was there a set of numbers on here? Oh. Um, enigmatic sentence, brass key with the letter CW, hmm. It's down. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. To the south? Okay. I don't see anything. Oh, 506. That's what it is. It's our at home address. Uh, hello? Oh. Interact. Hey. All right, now it's open. Okay, a photo of my Harry husband. Everhart, Find him. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A oh. brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. I like that it. If the interact with some things to. Harry Everhart. I'll take. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Whoa, that's gotta be like a key to open up something, right? I saw this island in oh. one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Well, she's pretty good. Giant key sticking out of the ground. 
Okay, that might be it. Can I take this? No. We're all set, madam. Oh. The motor boat is ready. Okay. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. <clears throat> Let's do this. An achievement for completing the prologue out of the blue games. So far, no, top notch. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. I'm fully intrigued. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, 74 miles east of Tahiti. Well, Whoa. here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed the water's to Water's so bright. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? Why is there milk in the bottom of my boat? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to This is know. going to be cool. I'm super excited. Oh, there's Everything birds. Everything is familiar. So familiar. Wait. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed of? Oh, I like the wind in the paper. That's a nice touch. This, this can't be a coincidence. Hey. Oh. That was a... I'm already wishing this game had a photo mode. Look at this place. I gotta get out of this milk boat. A breathtaking, idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Well, it's not protected that well. There's definitely something strange about it. Well, it's a place. camp. Well, that looks man made too. And there's something on the wall. Oh, I'm already wigging out. Okay, there's too much milk in this boat. Let's get out. Thank you. Okay, Harry. No feet. Let's see if I can find. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Okay. I think that's smart. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. All right. Oh shit, there's like drag marks here. Can I inspect this? A tent. So this machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Oh, look at the handle on that. Oh, a note. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Ill and mort. Island and death. Uh... Babe, I need a French translation. Up there. Whoever reads these words, we have profane. Is 
We barred this island because all it, all we found is death. Don't go very far. Don't go far. Don't don't go any farther. Okay. No, it's fine. Probably France, French anyway. Okay. Thank you. All right. So fucking it stay off the island. Long. That's what it's saying. About the dangers of the island. What was a little ship? A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe, beautifully crafted too. Cute. I want to take all this shit. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. What? I won't be playing that. Ew. Uh, okay, some crates. What's this guy? Oh, looks like a scabbard of some kind. Oh, maybe it's for this. Someone has been chopping down palm trees. A lot of them. Maybe to build something. Like a hut. It won't let me comment on these... Oh, there we go. Something was dragged to the sea. And by the looks of these marks, it was heavy. Oh boy. Okay. So we know we want to go in there. Well, let's go check out this other stuff first. Can I not run any faster? I feel oh. quite good. Okay. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than you. An offering of Mother of Pearl. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. Ooh, that's scary. What is this? These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. People, island. Okay, that's the sun. That's a f face. Eight people came to this island. Uh, uh, something. Nothing on the back. Okay. Oh, maybe we're supposed to go this way. Bone fish hook. Oh shit, cool. Let's catch some fish. Can you imagine if they make this like beautifully crafted narrative game and I spend hours of it fishing? Okay. The story continues. A monster came out of the sea and onto the land. And killed two of the people. Oh, they put up barriers on the land. And then ate the monster, maybe? And this says it's part two of the story. These are Marai. Sacred places. This is nothing. Well, I hope we didn't miss out on part four of the, or part three they of the look story. Peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. So lovely. Oh, that. Oh. Hello. Hello, bushes. Big gate. Well, that doesn't look friendly. Okay, part three of the story. Uh, they lured out the monster by dangling one of their people on a 
string. Part four. Uh, some people took up arms and another person left the island. Part five. Uh, the person who left is no longer part of the island people. And then he went and got more people from the mainland and brought them here and they started a war. From yep. what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? I don't know. Oh, shit. Well, that did something. Oh, I need to put something in here. Hmm. Something's missing here. Oh, one of these guys. Okay, we're 50% of the way through that door already. Solving puzzles left and right. A carving tool. It's a knife. This box. Oh. CW. Those are oh, the shit. initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Really? Okay, move the flowers to find the door key. This is Copy that. Like a scavenger hunt. Can I take that key back, please? No? Hello? Hello? Okay, these bushes are going crazy on me. They're going crazy. Okay, before we go open that door, I want to make sure we can't go anywhere else. Okay, this is a gate. It looks like it opens from the other side. Okay. Thank you, narrator. Okay, let's check out this cave. Oh, that scared me. So can I change the graphics at all? Nope. I thought maybe I could turn turn the quality down or something to stop that pop in from happening. It's terrified me a couple times. Oh, nice little window. Oh shit. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. They look like little hangman nooses. Not nooses, but the gallows. You know when you play hangman? Oh, the sun's going down. Oh no, maybe it's just the cave. I really want to take this machete. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. I can still hit things with it. Okay, I need to go to the one with the flower offering. There we go. Let me move this guy. Hello? What a lovely flower offering. Oh, there we go. Well, look what's hidden here. A door key. Nice. Oh, come on. Bushes. Figure it out. All right. So now we can get through this gate. The other two ways are both dead ends. Let us continue. 